The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And you combine a big leg with a mile high air. There's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone for a touchback. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. and 10. Here's Breeze. Oh, he's going to take it. They've got his man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown. On Al Beckham, 75 yards. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half. Sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. Morton Anderson now for the extra point. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Operating on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. And they'll go on the ground. Called a gain of 13 yards on the play, and it'll make it second down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And on the ground they go with a running back. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now they try the right side here. And that play goes absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Now a handoff looking right. Oh, twisting away. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. 22 yards. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the... Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked by the Hall of Famer, now and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Now they try the right side here. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Down to about the 22 here. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Hey, let's 
Now a handoff looking right. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And Gold is able to put it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here we go. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the hometown guys with a... Throwing now is Breeze. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Gronk's first catch, good for a first down. way forward to the 48. Demario Davis there on the stop. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Breeze now to throw. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now they'll pitch it back to Gurley. Good move by Gurley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. Here 
They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. down to the 14 yard line it's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully that means they win the battle on the edges that means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner they got it done there for a very nice game to go here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. This will be their first trip to the red zone. It's first and 10 at the 14. Three, second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now they'll throw with Breeze. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That catch good for five. It's third down. and a flag and I think we got a jump here so a pretty big third down mistake right there no doubt about it and everyone's going to be upset but they have to get out of this now and go ahead and play they could have someone come at them in a big way on the next down so it's still first and goal but now they get to try from a bit closer they come out here in the eye they'll try and push it in with Gurley and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Todd Gurley, a three-yard touchdown run. And his guys are able to strike for six. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And he came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, really in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. You might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. Williams. 
And he'll run it right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. He's going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, Breeze. Wide open receiver complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Sneak it, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Drew Brees, as the first half is winding down, and his guys are going to add on to their lead. And that'll give him a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 14 seconds, all that's left of this first half as they come up on first down. Now they try the right side here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now a handoff looking right. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now they try the right side here. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Now 
And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Here we go with Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, it's Lindsey, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He lost two, and it brings up four. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Time to establish the run game here early. Skirts by him at the 35. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now good for only a couple it brings up third down well they're unable to convert that into much but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. Now, Morton Anderson for the field goal try. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. And he finds his target. It's Shannon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Toss, it's Gurley. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. On first and goal, Gurley. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Bree's going to throw. And he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Telvin Smith in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Now Morton Anderson for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The career leader in field goals made knocks that one through. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not a mission accomplished, it's darn close. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this.
And they'll go with the ground attack here. Finding some room at midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. He'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. And they'll run it here. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. gonna throw here eluding the pressure right and it's incomplete still throwing to the very end but now this game is over 